Guys, I'm back on the outdoor gym. Of course, I'm going to come back here. That yesterday, well, yeah, yesterday was just like, I wouldn't say I went off because I'm going to do more sessions in the gym. But I would say it was like, it was just because I didn't come on Monday and it was raining outside. And I was like, I slipped last time, so I'm not going to risk it and come back outside again and mash up myself. Do you know what I'm saying? But don't get it twisted. If it rains and I need to come, I'm going to come once my knees better properly. But yo, 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 yo. Guys, make sure that comment subscribe. We're trying to hit 10K by August. I don't know, just as soon as possible. So if you're watching this, kick the subscribe. We grind, we work hard on this channel. We stay motivated. Yeah, man, it's windy. It's always windy when I'm out here. I don't know why, but it's annoying. My nose is so blocked because hay fever, but we're going to work hard today. I'm not going to lie, my arms are cooked from yesterday. They're cooked. Because deep, it's never been 24 hours. And now I'm back here. But today's workout is more like, Okay, I was going to say easy, but it's never going to be easy yet, so... Yeah. But it's calm, man. You guys have to just work, man. Anyways, I warmed up. I'm going to go into deep press-ups now. My shoulders and pecs are tired already, but like aching. But I'm going to go into deep press-ups now. And... Uh, we're going for six. Let's do this. But guys, by the way, I used chalk yesterday. I did two mistakes yesterday. The first one was I used chalk. Well, it's not a mistake because I want to use chalk again. Because if my hands rip it, it rips. I don't care. Um, I'm gonna use chalk again. And secondly, the press-ups at the start, I don't think any of you clocked, but once I finished editing it, I realized that I used the same clip twice. So it looks, do you get what I'm saying? So there's three, I did four sets, but I used the same clip twice because obviously when you're doing press-ups, the clips from the thumbnail looks the same. So I just clicked it without paying attention. Then, yeah, but I did four sets yesterday. Anyways, let's go today. We're doing three sets of six reps. Let's do this. Oh, come on. <sighs> Guys, I need to keep my torso up, like this wait like that i don't know what it looks like here but i'm not strong enough here because i can see the dip but i don't know man i'm gonna get stronger so it's calm let's do it six <laughs> oh <sighs> see Alright, calm. Now I'm going into proceed. I don't know how to say it. Proceed, pseudo or pseudo plank, planche, push-ups. So my hands are out, not forward and leaning. They're going to be out to the side, like this. I'm going to fam. Even on the dip, the deep presser, I will need to round my back up like that and hold it. Obviously, you have to tense your core and stuff. But I'm not strong enough yet, and like. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, there's no, there's nothing else to say. I'm literally just not strong enough yet. The more I lean like this and practice here, I think I might start practicing on my knees just like that. Then I might be able to hold it better. But I'm going to go into a small lean and do, I think it's five press-ups. So let's do this, man. Guys, on them deep press-ups, I can feel how much front shoulder you're using. Like, it literally feels like it's ripping. Obviously, it's not ripping. But, like, it feels like it's really you're using all the little fibers in there to be able to do it, man. 
that one exercise, I really feel like it's the most, say, advanced thing I can do in terms of how much strength I have to use to do it. So I like that one, I like it a lot, but it's so hard, man. But now, yeah, going into the press ups, I'm gonna try lean, but I want to round. Even if I go here, like this, tense, that's fine. But I don't want to be here and up. I wanna be there, like that. But yeah, I think it's just five. So let's go. Guys, I did a set, but I didn't record. I think I forgot to press record. But now I press record. So it's five. All right, let's go. Let's do this. I'm not even gonna pause it, so let's go. Last set, let's go. You see when you press down, your back's, is your back meant to be like this? Actually wait, you can't really press down like that. Oh no, well let's go. Guys, I'm going into close grip pull-ups now, four. I don't know if I can do four. I'm not gonna lie. Four sets of four, so 20. Yeah, I think. I don't even know, I haven't checked in it. But I think it's four sets of four. Four sets of five. It's not five. I don't know, because last week we did four sets of five to 21. I think, I can't remember, but that was a normal one. But I'm going to do closer, not super close like that, because I can't hold it like that yet. Just like here, or something. And yeah, man, this works more of your chest area because of how close your hands are they have to engage in it but yeah i'm probably going to be like here like this there hopefully this is fine i can't be here yet. i'm not strong enough to hold it like that so here yeah let's go Third set. I might do two and break. Come on. Calm. Now I'm going into, a, it's called half tuck le levers. So I'm going to be tucked in and I'm going to be off the floor because it's basically the start of practicing the LC. Because you can practice it on the floor, but with one leg up, one leg down like that. But they say if you want, if you have parallels, you might as well just practice on parallels because they say you can grip it and you can push down. So the whole like thing with an L sit or on the, a half lever, whatever. Yeah, on this, you have to really push down into the bar or the floor. You have to learn how to push down, like, really hard. And obviously, I've just started, so I don't know how to push, that, like, grip it and push, that like, super hard down into the floor. Do you get what I'm saying? But over time, it's going to come. So, oh, they say come in and just tuck. Like that. Oh, yes. And then hold it for as long as possible. But you really want to um, try, like, push down 
hard into the bar. So that's what I'm going to try to do. But yeah, I'm going to hold it for, I'm just going to see. But let's go. I want to do from, look, watch my shoulders, down, there. I'm not doing normal dips. I'm going to do dips forward. So out. I've never done them before, but I've seen that they're good for your shoulders as well. So I'm not even going to practice to show you. I'm just going to do it straight because, mate, my shoulders are done. But yeah, so I'm going to be like here and I'm going to dip here. Yeah. So like that with my knees bent. Let's do this, brother. Guys, I finished doing exercise. I can do the rest in the gym because it's just like a few, there's just two things left. But what do you call it? Today was a good session, man. Like, it wasn't long, like I didn't do bare stuff, but actually then again, I did do quite a few things. My cho I know tomorrow my shoulders are gonna be absolutely smoked, innit? But when I go to the gym later, I'm only really going to do cardio and to stretch. The reason why I'm going to the gym to do cardio is because I can't run, I can't skip, I can't do anything. But I can, I can use the cross trainer. So yeah, if I can use the cross trainer, then I might as well use the cross trainer. Do you get what I'm saying? Or I could use like, you know what I mean? Equipment like that, that's not weight bearing on my knee because obviously hurt my knee. But guys, make sure that comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Actually, why did I say that? Because I still have a few more things I want to see. Ah, uh, calm. Anyways, yeah, guys, I'm telling you now, yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth, innit? This is the truth. Me doing these exercises, obviously, yes, it takes years and it takes time. But fam, I want to know, like, how, not how long, but when I'm going to see, like, an improvement. Do you get what I'm saying? Because even them dips I did at the end, that, that, I tried to lean as forward as possible. Yes, that was more than a normal dip, but it's like hard like it's just hard but i'm not gonna lie you can't give up you have to be consistent no matter what it is you have to be consistent i'm literally showing you guys that with consistency comes results because deep yeah you guys could turn around and say oh but you were strong when you started or you was good fam you guys literally saw me when i started yeah i might have had a decent foundation because i was strong but fam apart from that i'm heavy mate like I'm heavy, so like there's no excuse to, to not do it. Do you get what I'm saying? If you're skinny and you don't have muscles or whatever, fam, you can still start. Same way I have muscles, but I'm heavy, fam. Fam, the truth is anyone can do it. Like, fam, I'm trying to build a mad thing under this jumper. But with that, that's gonna take time, innit? I can't hold the phone high, by the way, cause my, my arm is tight. But yeah, man. Okay, no, that's a violation. But yeah, guys, I'm telling you, just start, do press ups in your room, do anything. Press ups, dips in your kitchen, on the counter, on the side, the two corners, squats, lunges, whatever. I'm telling you, if you're consistent enough, you eat well, sleep, which I don't do enough, run, fam, you will get results. It's that simple. 
Like, there's no, oh, I just can't lose weight. I struggle to put on weight or lose weight, whatever. No, eat more if you need. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, the truth is, when you see these big guys saying, not big as in muscle, as in, like, the big guys, these up there, saying, um, oh, how did you get so good? Or how did that happen? And they turn around and say, oh, it's just consistency. Don't give up. It's literally the truth. Be consistent and don't give up, man. It's that simple. But make sure that comes subscribe. We're trying to hit 10K. Follow my socials. If you have any questions, comment or DM me. But in a bit.